today I have Randy Collins with me, um, our one of our owners here at Strategies Group, yeah. senior principal. Um, he has been around the construction software space for a couple of couple rounds. Of years. Of, yeah, 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 just a few. Um, and uh, he's personally one of my my mentors. I'm I'm excited to have him here today. Um, but what I wanted to talk to him about was kind of just how, what was your journey here with construction software? Like, how did you get started? Yeah. What, how did we get to this point? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's, uh, I'll give you the short version. <laughs> um, I kind of grew up in the construction space. My dad was a subcontractor. I worked for him for summers. And, uh, anyway, after getting out of school, I, I tended, I ended up being a, a banker and then a construction lender and then went to work with a friend of mine who had an architectural and engineering firm as their CFO and um, we used the old DOS Timberline product so that was back in the 1990s <laughs> and um, one day I was just tired of that 30-day CFO cycle I know some of our customers probably feel that mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I, I went and talked to the owner strategy group at that point Pat Chapel, and said hey I'd like to come work for you as a consultant. Mm -hmm. Pat being the great salesman and he has sold me on becoming a sales guy. So <laughs> You a sales he, guy? Yeah, no, it's not my forte. Um, but I knew the product, knew the industry really well. So anyway, did that. Uh, loved selling Timberline. Um, ended up buying the company in 2000 and uh, really did a, had a really successful practice with, with uh, Timberline and with Sage, purchased some Sage 300 CRE. Mm -hmm. uh, 2015 um, felt like Sage wasn't really pushing that product forward, uh, still charging maintenance and support, but the customers weren't getting much for it. So, uh, in the meantime, I sold the, uh, the Sage practice to uh, my partner and started looking for a better solution for customers. And took a couple of consultants came with me, and we did about an eighteen-month, two-year search about with all the products out there, so focusing in construction, but also looking at manufacturing distribution because we had some of that experience as well. We looked at everything: NetSuite, X1, Intact, um, the Microsoft products, everything, and we felt like the consultants came back and said we feel like Acumatic is the best platform. Mm -hmm. I didn't really even know who Acumatica was at that point in time. Had a funny name. Had a funny yeah. name. <laughs> Uh, so I went to two different, uh, two years in a row to their customer conference and sat with customers uh, and talked to them, heard where the product was going, really got excited. We picked up Acumatica as a partner in 2018 mm -hmm. and um, really started fresh from there, uh, kind of as a new company, a few employees. Yeah. And, um, and Acumatica came out with their construction product in January of 2018. Mm -hmm. um, we sold our first customer in 2018. As you expect with the new product, it, it was a There's it was a rocky road yeah. at first, but you know we're six years into this now. Mm -hmm. The product is very mature, mm -hmm. and we're so excited we made that decision. Yeah, I am too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what um, what has this done to shift the way that Strategies Group approaches implementation? I know, like the old Sage products, yeah. there was a different way of doing yeah. an implementation, and now. Things have changed yeah. a lot, so. Yeah, Sage is a very, Sage 300 CRE and Sage 100 contractor on the, on the contractor side uh, are very good products. They're old, but they're good. They're kind of like the old pickup truck that still gets you from point A to point B. Okay. But that old pickup truck can only do certain things, right? The same product with this product. Anytime you wanted additional functionality, you had to go get a third-party product, add it on, hope it integration worked. It was a server-based product, so they didn't connect really well. Um, with Acumatica being one, a cloud product, and two, having a platform that you can actually develop on, mm -hmm. our customers can, can select either third-party products that integrate really, really well, mm -hmm. or we can extend that product out uh, to match the functional needs of the client. Whereas uh, Sage and some of the other products out there, um, it is kind of you get what you get, mm -hmm. um, and you know, they. And so some partners are even doing a good job of doing um, what I'll call cookie cutter implementations, mm -hmm. right? We're going to implement it, it's going to be a lower cost, but that's because the systems they're implementing aren't very um, broad in yeah. nature, okay? Mm -hmm. So Acumatica, the difference is 
Acumatica allows you to really wrap the product around the way you do business mm -hmm. and provide that functionality through third parties or customizations. So it takes really a custom implementation to make sure you're getting your investment money in the product. Yeah. And actually the Acumatica product, the, the power you get in it is very reasonably priced compared mm -hmm. to other products in that in yeah. the industry. So. I'd imagine, um, well, I know that you really need somebody specific to implement your software too, like somebody that knows your yes. business, knows the industry too. Because yeah. if you don't, with a very customizable product like Acumatica, yeah. you oh, you might yeah. end up having a misused system. So. Yeah, yeah, and it's it is a very um, it's a very deep system. Mm -hmm. It allows for a lot of customization. The out of the box is great, but it, it allows so much more power based on decisions you make in the in implementation. If you get if you get consultants who don't know the industry or don't know the product, uh, then you're liable to come up with either a product that's uh, implemented poorly or mm -hmm. you know incorrectly, or at least it's not going to get you your bang for the buck for the property investment that you made. Yeah. So, so if you could tell that that sage practice that you you had before, if you mm -hmm. could tell those customers any advice um, considering the the landmark of yeah. construction software, all of those things, yeah. what what's a piece of advice that you would give them um, on how they should move forward with that system? Um, well, one thing Sage has provided their customers with an incredible investment. Mm -hmm. I mean, those clients have had that product for 20, 30 years, and mm -hmm. it has served them really well. Mm -hmm. But the world's changing. Mm -hmm. um, there's new technology out there that allows companies to do things better. Um, and that those, those technologies are usually relying upon data access, and data access is in the cloud. Mm -hmm. um, Sage 300 CRE, Sage 100 Contractor, great product, but Server, server side, you can't really access the data. Things like AI that are coming out, yeah. all these AI-based tools that are gonna give companies incredible power and efficiency, um, have to have access to data. Mm -hmm. And that data really needs to be in the cloud to be accessible between whatever product you're running on the ERP side and any other systems that you have out there. Mm -hmm. So it's time to look in the market yeah. and see if see if Timberline, or the old Timberline system, Sage 300, is still the product that's taking you where you want to go. Mm -hmm. And also, as you bring on the new generation of people, they don't like working with old technology. Yeah. So if you're having trouble finding good people in the office, in the field, they get excited about new technology. Mm -hmm. They get excited about empowering themselves with data and technology, and, and Acumatica does an incredible job of that. Well, awesome. Thank you, Randy. Yeah, yeah. no problem. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs>